in this video tutorial i am going to design a cart wheel and we we are going to make this sketch on the right plane and i am going to sketch the top half sketch of the cart wheel and then i am going to use the revolve command so first thing is that we needed to check the units so given units for the drawings are in millimeters so you can change the units from here go here and click mmgs millimeter gram second or you can go here on menu bar and here options then you are going to click on document properties and units and select the units mmg millimeter gram second and you can like change the decimal place like for three or two or you can make it one or none according to given drawings so click ok now the selective unit are in millimeter gram second so go here click on sketch and then i am going to select the right plane so first thing is that i am going to draw two center lines center lines are, are just for my reference so one vertical and one horizontal and then i am going to select line tool and i am going to draw a rough sketch so like that and then align at some angle or slope like that like that like that like that and i'm going to leave it here and then just drag this like that drag it here now i am going to give the dimension to this sketch so this dimension select this line and this center line and give our diameter dimension this dimension is given as 24 and dimension for this point and this center line is already selected and here and this dimension is 50 okay then i am going to select this point and this diameter dimension is 120 okay and this one is 130 okay G. now i am going to drag it here again select smart dimension so dimension for this line and select this center line and this diameter dimension is given as 35 and as you see this point is crossing this center line i am just going to drag it and move it here or we can also do add a relation select this point and this line and make it coincident okay zoom in zoom out by middle wheel of your mouse and again dimension from this line this point this dimension is given as line and then okay so we just have to make it fully defined so make sure you add all the dimension okay and uh, we are going to add a angular dimension so angle between this line and this line i am going to add select this line sorry i selected this point we needed to select this line and this line and this dimension between them is 10 and from this point to this line this dimension is given as 46 diameter dimension now this sketch is fully drawn basically what we did for the cart wheel i just draw this uh, uh, half sketch the upper half sketch on the right plane and to make it close a close sketch i am going to mirror these identities this line this line this line this line this line this line we needed to mirror these all lines with the reference to mirror about so this center line is 
the mirror about so we want these all lines mirror with the reference of this line so this whole sketch will be appeared in that side with the reference of this line click ok so we just draw a complete half sketch of the card wheel and exit go to revolve and for the axis of revolution I am going to select this center line and click OK so basically we just draw the card wheel now we needed to make some holes so I am going to sketch and on this face I am going to draw my sketch and select normal view I am going to draw a circle like that and then I am going to define the dimension of uh, this circle so this dimension is given as 20 and dimension from here to here this dimension is given as 85 divided by 2 ok and we needed to make a relation select this point and this point and we wanted these two points on a vertical line click ok now this circle is fully defined exit this sketch and cut extrude and for the direction I'm going to select through all click ok now we just draw this hole I'm going to pattern this hole using a circular pattern and for the direction one this circle I'm going to select this cylindrical face and for the number of instances I am going to select three I just needed three holes one two three and equally spacing click OK and I'm going to fill it the edges I'm going to select this edge and rotate it when this face is in front of you select this edge and this is to click ok and we can also fill it this edge this edge this edge according to the drawing click ok and we can change the appearance of this card field